the topic for today that we're going to talk about is something my team and I created. It's called restorative longevity. So restorative longevity is different from longevity. Longevity is kind of the hot topic, hot topic these days, right? And most, I, I think there needs to be a more uh, subcategories or different categories of longevity. Because longevity right now, what it means is just extending something, extending your quality of life, extending your um, life, right? extend your ability to do certain things longer, right? And so com the common solutions for the longevity or wellness, right? Let's say longevity and wellness are, are there's a broad, it's a broad category. And so I want to provide a, 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 a clear, I was just to clarify, there is this, there's a different pathway for longevity and wellness, right? Even within longevity. So current longevity is how can I, I've got arthritis in my knees. I've got osteoarthritis, I've got rheumatoid arthritis, and I can't play tennis anymore. So I'm going to go and get some stem cell injections, peptide injections. I'm going to get some exosomes injections, right? And so that I can long, it, it lo make long longevity so I can go back to playing tennis, even though, regardless of how, how old I am, right? And so, that's one form. That's I think I would think that's the most popular form of wellness and longevity right now in the world is to focus on that. So my skin, I don't want it to recoil as fast. So I'm going to inject stuff, uh, stem cells. I'm going to inject this into my skin so that my skin can regenerate, right? Make more be youthful. Um, so I would say if longevity is more focused these days on being more youthful. The, the the fountain of youth, right? Let's reverse. And so that's kind of the definition of uh, what people are seeking or, or, or people work with the, I would say, medical profession, but also other practitioners are promoting. Longevity is more about fountain of youth. How can I be, even though I'm 60, how can I behave like I'm 30? Not just <laughs> mentally, I uh, think you're 30, but physically, you know, reverse those back to your thirties, right? And so um, that's a great example is that I would say the fountain of youth. That's what most people are correlating with longevity. When I'm well, through our, uh, my practice and my team, what we have, we, we've developed this new, I would say a new pathway. It's an old, but new pathway. And okay? it's old because it's been around for thousands of years, 5,000 years, right? But we've just gone away from that. We have gone away from, from this new, from this old pathway. So we're bringing it back and I'm coining the term restorative longevity. It is different from fountain of youth longevity, it is different from wellness longevity. Restorative longevity is this, focus on the first word. Well, let's focus on longevity. Longevity, so my definition of longevity is you live a long, longer life. So you live above, let's just say a hundred years old. You live a longer life, but a higher quality of life. It's a difference. Okay. Most people think as you age, your quality of life decreases. I am saying it is possible that as you get older, your quality of life improves, right? At worst, it stays the same as when you were 20 years old, right? So that's what I'm saying. I'm saying my definition of longevity is as you get older, your quality of life improves. Your or at worst stays the same, but it does not get worse. It should not get worse. That is the goal. That is the definition. It, do, do most people achieve that? No, most people don't achieve that. Probably only less than 1% of the world achieves that. And restorative, so that's my definition of longevity. Restorative is the means on how to achieve that definition that I just said of longevity. To live a higher quality of life, your quality of life increases, improves as you get older. Okay. So restorative means the way you do that is you have to restore function. You have to restore your organ function. 
that is restorative. In order to live a higher and a better quality of life, as you get older, you have to restore function. You got to do things that restore function. You don't do things to replace function, and you don't do things dam obviously to damage your functions, right? So most of us, we damage our functions as we go. How do we damage our functions? It's through our lifestyle. We go fast food. We eat out a lot. We eat out every day. Eating out, there is no way to eat out healthy. Zero, right? So because it's for that business to serve you healthy, there is no way to eat healthy outside, outside of your own kitchen. Now I'm not saying that inside your kitchen you can eat healthy because you can buy the wrong things, right? But eating out, people who eat out every day, you're not healthy. It's impossible to be healthy. Okay. Now again. It's my definition of healthy, not your definition. Maybe your definition of healthy is just you feeling good, that and you eat out, and you feel good every day. Then that's your definition. You're absolutely right. You are healthy. So yeah, I'm, I apologize that if I, uh, I, I don't want to put down anybody's definition. I don't want to say your definition is wrong. Your, everybody's definition is right. Okay, so I'm just talking about my definition and for myself. So let's go back to re restorative. Is restore right and not replace. A lot of those fountain of youth treatments, longevity treatments, stem cell, exosomes, those are replacing function. They're not restoring function, right? How do I know that? Because, well, how, how would you know that? And then again, I'm just trying to use common sense, very simple common sense. If something really restored my body's organ function, wouldn't my body still be functioning when I stomp that treatment. Let me repeat that. If I did treatment number A and they told me it's to restore, right, restore my function, then it, when I stop this treatment, shouldn't my body now be self-healing again without it? Shouldn't I not have to be dependent upon these treatments if they are truly, right? So if they don't, if you have to keep on doing these treatments, they're not restorative. They're replacing, they're replacing a function in your body. That's why you got to keep doing them, right? So the fountain of youth, you got to keep the scan. You got to keep injecting stuff. Your joints, you got to st still keep injecting stuff, right? You can't just say, Hey, I do these five injections, right? And, and uh, I would say. 2014, 2015, I actually had my, my, my clinic, uh, which is uh, an acupuncture well, uh, and an acupuncture, a restorative acupuncture clinic. We used to have a medical team that did these injections in the knees, right? And they were based off the, the, the rooster's skull. They weren't restorative. I thought they were restorative, right? But they weren't. And so what would happen is they would do, uh, we had to do like these injections and it would create space in between the knees. And that would allow people to go play tennis, play golf, play basketball, run and stuff, right? But the problem is it would only last maybe six months, maybe two years. The person that, that, that got the best results was two years and they wouldn't have to come back and redo it again. But the next time they did those injections, right? The relief lasted less and less and less. So it was not restorative. And that's why I stopped doing those things. This is full transparency. When you, when you listen to this podcast, there's no filter. I'm telling you all the mistakes I made in the past. Uh, it's all transparent. So we did that. I did that. I brought that into my practice thinking that it was going to help produce restorative effects. And it didn't. So I got rid of it because it wasn't restorative. People were dependent. It was just a replacement, right? I'm not saying those things are bad. I'm just saying our focus for our clinic was restorative. Now, there are times, I, absolutely, when you're bone bone, there ain't no restorative. Now, you can't inject those, those, those it's called Sinvis, uh, it's called, uh, what they're called, but they're from the rooster's comb. So you can't inject those and then say, oh yeah, they won't be bone on bone forever, it's fixed, because it doesn't. Those are replacing. And I know a couple years and even now, you know, there's the, the stem cell exosomes and peptides, people that are selling, they're saying, oh yeah, you can restore your cartilage. I haven't seen it happen. I don't know if it can happen. I just have not seen it happen. So what I see, what I have seen, what was the reality? 
right? The reality is I see those people going back to get those injections. They last a couple of years, but they have to go back and get those injections. And when you get those injections, the relief is going to last less. Okay. Again, I'm not saying that that is wrong. I used to have a physician team, a medical team that did those things, right? So I'm not saying, I'm just giving you my experience of what I've seen. So that is replacing function. That's not what restorative longevity. And again, I'm not saying replacing function is a wrong thing. Some people, when you're brought up about any surgery, you got to replace that joint. Thank God for Western medicine that they can do that. I love Western medicine. My older sister is, is a physician. My brother-in-law is a famous urologist in Germany. Um, two of my best friends are physicians. I love physicians. Okay, I love Western medicine. So when you are bone on bone, and whether your knees or in your, in your hips, and you need that hip, hip replacement, thank God we have technology for that. But that's not what we're talking about. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about something different. This is not to replace that. Okay, so just let me be clear. So what I'm talking about is restorative longevity. This is what my team, my team at Achieving Negative Health in Cedar Park, Texas, this is what we do. This is what I help people do when they're not too far gone, when they're they're not bone on bone yet. Okay. So restorative longevity, again, we help you, it's something that helps you restore your organ function. Many of those strategies can be done at home. Many of those strategies which I will go through in this podcast okay uh again if you're not subscribed hit the subscribe button because i'm about to go through those strategies i'll take it step by step so that you can follow it and see there are things that you can do at home to produce restorative longevity this is something i'm coining restorative longevity if you got friends or family that are suffering make sure you get them to subscribe to our channel so they can get to these okay all right so back to restorative longevity restorative is we restore function, things, therapies, lifestyle. I don't like to use the word treatments because it's not a treatment. Because the things you do at home are a lifestyle. Habits, probably a better word. Habits, actions you can take, and even at home, majority of them are at home, that can help you restore your organ function and improve your quality of life. Improve it as your age increases, not decrease. Okay, so those are the things. That's what restorative longevity. Let me know in the comments. Do you want to know how to do restorative longevity for yourself and your family? If you don't, I'll do another. I won't. I'll just get off this topic. I'll go on to another topic. But if you do, let me know. Let me know if you want to learn how to do restorative longevity. Right? And I'm not the first person who has done this. Right? I'm just the person that has coined this terminology because. Nobody's talking about it. Everybody's talking about longevity, but really longevity is more about replacing function. I'm just trying to bring into light that there's some different type of longevity where it's restorative longevity, where you can actually restore your organ functions, restore your organ functions, and therefore increase your quality of life as you get older. So let me know uh, what's the evidence that I have that this can, is possible. I've said this before, the best it's not in a laboratory it's not in a double blind study okay those double blind studies i love those but they can be manipulated uh i know because i used to be a biochemist so i knew if i did something a certain way i can manipulate the result of the test right so i'm not saying that experiments double blind studies are not legit they are the medical profession runs based off of double blind study right just be careful just be you know do your research do your due diligence as to who is paying for that double blind study so the, the thing about those studies are they're not comparing apples to apples it's because the people when, when they study people they're studying people within a closed controlled environment right none of us live in a controlled environment we live in this world full of chaos so the short version of it is the best, I would say, laboratory is this world. So thankfully, people have already gone and researched, sought out, investigated. Where in this world have people actually been able to implement and execute restorative longevity? That's called the blue zones. The blue zones are people who have executed it effectively. 
Blue zones are people who live over our areas that, that have people who have the oldest people have the most people who live over a hundred years old. And you may be thinking, I want to live a hundred years old. That's what you may be thinking. Right? And maybe you don't. But that's a lot of times people, when people say they don't want to live over a hundred years old, is because they're thinking by the time they get to their hundred, they're going to be in a wheelchair or in a walk. These blue zone people, these communities, and there are five communities all over the world, they are more active than many of the Americans here in the U.S. Many of the 50-year-olds, 40-year-olds, 60-year-olds, they're over 100. They're twice their age, but they are more vibrant, more active. They have a higher quality of life than people in their 60s here in the U.S. But one of those blue zones is in the U.S. Okay, So this is proof. These communities probably that there is it is possible to have restorative longevity. It is possible to get older and have a better quality of life. They, in these blue zones, they have farmers. People are still farming over a hundred. You show me a 60 year old that's farming around, right? They're farming over a hundred. They're dancing. They're playing sports. They're doing whatever they want. Gardening. They're enjoying life. They have community. And that's what life is all about. And that's what restorative longevity is all about. So again, subscribe to the channel. Make sure to get all your friends to comment. Comment below. See, do you want me to expand this topic and start going over how to do it? Because that's what we do in our clinic as well. And so we combine what the Blue Zone people do and what we do of traditional Chinese medicine. And together, we help people achieve restorative longevity. Comment below if you want me to talk more about this in future podcasts.